Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Gonna do your love reading here for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you're new and you like my videos, please do click like, share, and subscribe. Um, this is gonna be for Wednesday, November 30th. Um, going through, obviously, the end of December, okay? So if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Do go over to my booking site and check that out, moonpytharo.com. And uh, yeah, let's get into this reading, Virgo. What drama messages do you have <clears throat> showing up here for you? Virgo Sun, <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And hey, everybody in the chat, I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right, we almost had a card flip out. I don't know what's going on with that. It might not have wanted to come out. Let's take a look and see what messages do we have for Virgo. I swear I just saw one. There's one that's trying to come out and then it flips back into the deck. Okay, so let me intuitively pull it. Oh, they gave us two. Okay, the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, and not today, not taking that phone call. So, okay, avoiding a conversation, not dealing with the hurt, avoiding a conversation, a phone call, a person, boundaries, still angry. So it feels like some of you are avoiding Someone who's very self-absorbed may even be a narcissist. They're gonna be reaching out, trying to love bomb you, um, try to have another chance here, tell you everything you wanna hear, that kind of stuff. And I feel like you might pick up the phone and then hang it up, or you might just let other people listen to it or listen to a voicemail. I just feel like you're avoiding a conversation or you're not talking to somebody, you're, you're upset or you're just done. Okay, wow, you have both. Receiving what you need, progression, sorry, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Wow, I don't think, I can't remember the last time you had the boat. Honestly, some of you might be going on a cruise, but it feels to me like you're out. Could be a call. Some of you might, uh, this person might be reaching out about some trip or tickets, a cruise or a boat or something like that. But I feel like you are, you don't have closure issues. You don't, this person's not coming in to call you to give you closure. This person's calling and reaching out, wanting to talk to you to try to love bomb and bring you kind of, I guess, back into this situation with you, okay? Which is pretty crazy, okay? Let me get a little other messages here to see what's going on with this person. What the heck? Okay. Oh, yeah. Knight of Pentacles with the devil. Okay. This person's going to come in and try to slow work the magic. Um, <clears throat> this is not, this just not very healthy. Um, Mental health issues. This person has mental health issues, Virgo. They're very secretive, obsessed with you. Um, looking for a reason to contact you or communicate with you. I just heard that. This person is looking for any... It could have something to do with money or uh, finances or a tangible asset, okay? Um, they're very codependent, extremely insecure, um, materialistic, can't really read all these, but I, I just know this person is definitely going to come in and make some kind of slow offer. In other words, um, <clears throat> it feels like, um, either they're going to give you something, they're going to give you a gift, try to love bomb you with a gift or offer something maybe around Christmas because the devil energy is Capricorn. Okay, okay, we have Capricorn here twice. So for some of you, this is 100% a Capricorn. I mean, they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart as well, and they're operating out of that Capricorn energy. Okay, let's see. Oh gosh, yeah, look, you are my wish fulfillment. I can't stop thinking about you, I'm very sorry. 
They might send you a picture of them or do some kind of love bombing stuff, um, make an apology to you. This person, I'm not seeing a lot of maturity here with this person, okay? Um, sweet nothings, text messages, phone calls. And Virgo, I, I have to tell you, it seems to me like you are like not dealing. You're not dealing with it. You don't, you know, you're not, you're not anything this person tries to tell you, you know, um, you're my, you're my fulfillment. You're everything I ever wanted. I, I mean, like what is going on here? They're, because I, I feel like this person, they want you to see them as like a winner. Like you see how this person is here and they have all those, um, cups behind them. Like, don't you recognize that I'm a champion? Don't you see all my trophies and all my achievements? It, it almost feels like that's what's more important to this person, to be recognized for, you know, their display case and everything that's in there. You know, it's it's very narcissistic. It's, it's very like, I'm represented by all of my achievements, not by who I am that kind of energy from this person. All right, let's take a look at you, Virgo. Wait, they just said clarify the devil. All right, King of Wands. So for some of you, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And I just, you know, Virgo, I just get a sense. You're like, nope, nope, not, not answering the call, not talking to this person. I don't want to communicate with them, not today. I'm not dealing with the hurt. I'm not going through a cycle again. I'm not dealing with this person at all, okay? Whether it's a phone call or a conversation or they show up in person, yeah, no. You might, some of you might even have somebody standing in for you just like as a little protection. I don't know what exactly that would mean, but I'm just kind of picking up that might be something for somebody. All right, let's take a look at you. Okay, you have the emperor. All right, Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, you're waiting for some kind of opportunity from someone who is completely leveled up, that Emperor energy, male or female. This is someone who shows up. You're, you're seeking someone who is respectful, who sits in a position like they can take charge. They're fearless, they're strategic, they're a good planner, they follow through, maybe even someone that takes care of their children. Um, I feel like Virgo, you're not looking for someone who is completely isolated and insecure or someone that's just plays the victim. I, I feel like you're just like, no, you're, you're not trying to have that in your life. You might fear like, oh my gosh, that's all I'm ever going to meet. But you're hopeful with this three of wands. You have foresight. You know what to look out for. You also, I see you uh, taking your time to, to get to know someone. You may have an Aries showing up here. Um, I don't feel like it's the past person because I'm not seeing this past person coming in like all healed. I didn't get an energy like that. I just feel like there's a past person coming in to love bomb the crap out of you. So I kind of get a sense like you are really good at vetting people or getting to know them. And you will be going through December because you're going to be looking out for people who front with this energy and then, but what's deep, just deep inside or behind the veil is this insecurity or someone who plays this covert kind of narcissist crap where they play the victim, you know, and that, that everybody does them wrong. And, you know, the last person they were with, they made a mistake and that person did them wrong and didn't treat them well and, and like, blah, 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 blah. They, they play this whole victim thing. And I feel like, nope, you're not hearing it in December, you're not hearing anybody coming in, whether this represents one person or represents like a collective of types of people. No, you're like, no, I'm just gonna keep waiting for that blessing and that grace and that new love coming in here, okay? And you're not afraid to go it alone or do what you need to do um, to make yourself happy 
with your decisions, you know that the um, outcome for you is going to be beautiful and that all your hard work is going to pay off. So I just kind of feel like you are stepping into this position where you're in your power now. It, it just feels like you're not taking any crap from anybody, like at all. Hold on, you guys. Sorry for the crazy light show here. Um, yeah, and you've got new love coming to you. You also have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You have Gemini, maybe another Virgo, and Aries. All right, let me take a look here. I did just say get one more card for you. Okay, yep, there you are. King of Pentacles, King or Queen. Male or female energy, earth sign, mature, grounded, successful, wealthy, bettering yourself, not a risk taker. <laughs> you take an, I, I feel like you will take some risks, but you're, you're going to make sure that they're risks worth taking. Um, building your empire, thriving, high, you'll be high status for sure in December, stable, secure, an entrepreneur even, or a good provider. I just really feel like Virgo, you are, you're getting on that boat. <laughs> you're getting on this, on a boat. Maybe the person you're connecting with has a boat. This past, this, well, this narcissist, whoever they are, past, present, whatever. Um, I feel like you're finally arriving. You're moving on. Close your issues. You're giving yourself closure at this time. Okay. Um, as you process. Put your boundaries up. I feel like you're going to put your boundaries up. Someone's just going to willy-nilly come in and try to connect with you who's just very self-absorbed and entitled and seems like they think they can just do whatever they want. Virgo's like, mm, don't think so. Look at you. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Taurus energy. Virgo again. Like, Virgo, you're good. Stable, structured, some of you might be um, receiving some uh, money or some type of an inheritance. Are you going to get some kind of money? Um, I just see good solid foundation happening for you when this call, and this is how that, that that's how it works because I feel like once you get yourself in a really good place, which a lot of you have been putting the work and the effort in, and you've been doing it, and you're feeling, you know, not all of you. I know some of you are, you know. Kind of still struggling but you're feeling like the the you, the structure is is firm now and you feel like you're on your you can stand on your own two feet you know as soon as you start doing that then that's when the energy comes in with someone who um doesn't want you moving on doesn't like that you're letting go and that you're moving forward or it's a control issue that's all what I feel. So yeah, I'm going to try and come back in with the love bomb stuff. Definitely um, narcissistic energy. Or someone who's just spiritually disordered, maladjusted. Let me see what they're, they're going to try to tell you. What they're going to try to say to you. Okay, I lost myself for a little while. I wish I could share my good news with you. I feel you leaving me behind. I'm starting to understand our connection. Oh my God, please. It's interesting, right? Are they just starting now to understand the connection? Just being you, being near you is intoxicating. And you guys, listen, did you hear how I had that like Freudian slip? Just being you is intoxicating. That's very much a narc trait where the other person will mimic you. Um, they want to be like you, yet they despise you at the same time, but they mimic your actions, your words, your behaviors, because people who have that disorder lack an identity. They're, they have no soul. They're soul eaters. Um, they need that fill from you. This is turning into one of those readings. This person, um, they want to tell you how they feel. And what is that? That they can't stop thinking about you. You must have been like grade A or number one or something for them because here they come around. If things are so great for them, why are they reaching out to you? Okay. Um, oh, I wish I had treated you better. Very, you better be careful with this. I feel like some of you already know that these are the words that are going to come out of this person's mouth. You already know what they're going to say. 
others of you don't fall for the bait because I feel like you're being baited. I'm becoming a better person. Okay, well, you keep becoming a better person somewhere else. I regret lying to you. So many things remind me of you. I replay our conversations over and over. Sometimes I, oh, this person's going to lay it on thick. Virgo, you must have really like, you must really be finished. You must really be done. <clears throat> this person, you saw the devil card show up right in the beginning. They are obsessed, obsessed with all the good you give, well, or you gave, if you're not talking to this person at this time. My goodness, what other messages are there? Denial, detach with love, declare they see the truth, Virgo. So, you know what? Don't take that phone call. Let it go to voicemail. And if you can, don't even listen to it. Once you're done, you're done. Once you're finished, you're finished. Once you're not feeling it anymore, then you're not feeling it anymore. What's there even to say? If this person, um, you know, I'm not seeing anything, you know, name calling or anything like that. It doesn't mean that that wasn't happening in your relationship. But what the most important thing I'm seeing here is that this was a one-sided relationship Somebody is dictating to you how the relationship was going to go, who you could talk to, who you could, how you live your life, how you dress. You might have had that happen. Um, micromanaging every little thing and, and just kind of making you feel stressed, very self-absorbed and controlling. Um, <clears throat> awful, awful energy. And the best card out of this entire deck here and this reading is the not today card holding the phone away and saying nope nope don't want to talk to you avoiding uh, now you're in avoidance and now this person is going to start running towards you during that time period so i kind of feel like virgo you know you do what you have to do for yourself i know for some of you Listen, if you know that your person, like not every message is going to be for you. If you know that you're, this is not the person that you're listening for, then just pass the reading and this is for somebody else. But like for those of you who are listening to this and you're like, yes, absolutely 100% without a shadow of a doubt, this is my person. Then the reading is for those of you who are feeling this. If you're not sure, then I wouldn't really try to make it that's why i always say take what fits and leaves the leave the rest here but i just really feel like this person's going to come in with a whole bunch of laying it on thick really gonna have to lay it on thick because i feel like i do feel like also this person is kind of like with that devil card gonna come up with some new tricks um because i don't feel like what they have to say if they've said it before is going to work anymore okay so yeah they're going to come up with some new tricks and they may even try to give you the whole you know i i lay awake at night thinking about you and if you hadn't left me or you, you know then or if you didn't do that one thing i wouldn't be in this you know um i wish i had treated you better but then you're going to hear the okie doke but, you know, the way you treated me wasn't all that great either. That's how you know someone is a narcissist or they're full of themselves. You know, I'm becoming a better person now that we're apart. <laughs> like, who says that to somebody? Okay. I replay our conversations over and over, even times when you were mean to me. I regret lying to you because I got caught. You know, like... It's, it, if there's a but at the end of the conversation or there's a redirect towards blaming you for why someone else behaves the way they do, that's such a cop-out, such a load of crap. No one has control over another person. That is such a load of crap. I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's like if you hear that from people or you're hearing that from this person, Virgo, you need to just hang up that phone, shut the door in that person's face, or just look at him, look at him and say, yep, sorry you feel that way. Take care. Adios. 
girl bye, boy bye, because that's that's just a backhanded kind of conversation, you know, backhanded compliments. You look so great um, compared to the way you looked yesterday or the last time I saw you. Like, who the hell says that? Um, so what, last time you saw me, I, I looked awful? Like, it's just so backhanded, okay? I just want to get a moon message here for you guys. I know you guys, um, oh my God, the wind, I just, huge breeze. Um, so I know you guys, I'm not going to be doing this reading like for an hour tonight. Um, I'm just getting my voice back. It's still a little bit sore. Um, <clears throat> but I took really good care and like barely even spoke yesterday. So, um, if you want to go over to my group, me chat, the late night chatters group for H O V uh, uh, people, you guys who watch my videos, you don't have to be a member. There's a link in the, I think there's a link. Um, it'll be posted in the chat as well <clears throat> that you can go over if you want to catch up with everybody on the nights that I'm not here or that I do a short video. Okay. Um, I couldn't tell you what the link is, but I'll see if I can post it below the description box in the description box below the video. Okay. So you have prosperity lies ahead. And let's see, prosperity lies ahead. It looks like things are gonna get better for you. You will be in a much better, yep. The energy is gaining momentum. You, Virgo, just not having it, shutting the door on the situation, walking away from the situation is gonna change everything for you in your life. And I feel like you have to get to that pivotal point to close that door. <clears throat> I really do. I do. In order for the energy, in order for things to change, start changing in your life, okay? Some of you have already done that. And just so you know, narcissists don't ever give up. They may go 10, 20 years before they start reaching out again, but they don't ever, ever, ever give up, especially if you were a really good supply. They always keep that little black book. They always keep that little black book they collect people. Um, it's it's sad. It's really pathetic, actually. But um, your best bet for yourself is to just hang up that phone and um, deal with any anger. You might get angry because they're calling again um, just to come in and try to railroad you or cross your boundaries. Um, your best option here is to just avoid, avoid, avoid. Don't ruin your holidays by hearing what they have to say, put it on pause and deal with it another time or connect with them after the holidays if you must listen or talk to them, okay? Um, or just let it go to voicemail and then you can listen to the voicemail <clears throat> when you're ready. Cause some of you won't have, it won't have an effect on you. Others of you, you might have to talk to this person if you have attachments between the two of you. Um, or you might have to take the call. Just make sure if you do, try not to communicate with this person because I do feel like they're going to be angry. They're going to get very angry. You're going to see some anger, not physical anger, but you're going to hear it in their voice because you're not answering. Okay, that's still angry energy. Um, they may be angry because you walked away from the relationship or you just didn't communicate with them or you didn't tell them, you, a lot of you just escaped or you just ran away, whatever the situation. Like I said, you kind of seem like a, a runner in this situation, their ego is pissed off. Okay, we have Year of the Dragon, Year of the Rat, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Pig, Year of the Dog, Pig again, Year of the Tiger, and did I say the rabbit? Nope, year of the rabbit. Okay, year of the rooster. All right, you guys. So if that's your person's Chinese sign, so be it. It could be yours also. Um, it could be none of you, so don't sweat too much about that situation. Um, let me see. I'm going to just do... 
the love messages here and then I'm gonna close out the reading for tonight and then I'll be back tomorrow with your weekend love reading and that's gonna be the start of December can't even believe that wait no yeah tomorrow's December 1st wow we're already here in in December I can't even believe it all right let me see what are the romance angels messages for you Virgo Okay, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Listen, this reading is for somebody, okay? I don't know who is listening, but this is very specific for somebody, <clears throat> okay? This, you know, when the attraction and the chemistry fades, when someone treats you bad or is just very self selfish, just very one-sided, and only love bombs you like a car salesman trying to make the deal. I feel like for you, Virgo, this is one of these situations where it's like, it's just, there's not enough here for me. There's just not enough. I'm just not even attracted to this person. You know how like when someone could be um, really good looking, for example, and then their personality, they're very selfish and self-absorbed and then they don't look as good anymore. You know what I mean? It's not like they've changed physically, like they are the attraction or whatever it is. It's just that once you get away from that and you really see who the person is, you're kind of like, yeah, I don't want that. Like, I'm not trying to be with that. What is this? What the heck was I thinking? You know, um, hmm. because the character and the personality is, you know, the looks and all that stuff fades. It's who somebody is. And. Do they have a giving heart? Are they empathetic? Are they compassionate? Are they warm? Are they loving? Do, are they servicing? Do they try to help other people? Or are they just all about themselves? Like that does not look good. I don't care how good you might think you look or how many people might love you. If you're if you're like that kind of person, it's like it's like a no. I mean, am I right? Right? Okay, separation. There you go. Time apart from this person on the horizon. If you haven't separated from this person yet, it's coming. This is done. This is done for someone. And you know what? You deserve love. You are lovable, Virgo. You deserve more than this. You deserve to be treated with respect. Your boundaries, you deserve to have your boundaries respected. Okay? Sure, sometimes people have arguments um, little friendly fire, we kiss and make up, we learn lessons, stuff like that. But when someone is consistently disrespecting you, yeah, no, you deserve better than that, Virgo, 100%. And you know it, and, and you know I know it, and you know you're here and you're still listening to this reading because something in this reading has clicked for you and you know that this is going to resonate for you and you're going to come back in a couple of days. You might even listen to this a few more times. I hope you do, because I think you might really need to get this pounded into your brain. Not all of you. Some of you are like, no, this ain't for us. We've already moved on. And it doesn't surprise me that this person's coming back in to love bomb me. I expect it. That's how they are. That's fine. All right. I'm going to leave the reading there because I feel like this was really specific um, reading tonight. And I guess... Um, yeah, I haven't been doing the shorts or the, the TikTok, um, but I guess I'm going to, um, start getting those back up again. Um, but I'm trying not to talk too much. Like I still have a little bit of a sore throat, but it's not like burning and it kind of was really scratchy and hurt to talk, but hopefully it doesn't get, hopefully I'll be able to do tomorrow's reading for the weekend, but you know what? It's winter up here, so here we go. Tis the season. So I'm taking my vitamin C and all my good stuff. So, um, all right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that there for you. Do go over to the group me chat if you want to chat with everybody else. If you haven't joined, the link is in the chat, and I'll try to put it underneath the video. All right. Love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs>